film begins with a chocolate factory, where many chocolates were prepared. Owner of this factory named Willy Wonka, hides golden tickets in five chocolates. They supply chocolates to the whole world. Consumers, who will get those golden tickets, will be awarded with a specific prize. Scene shifts to a kid named Charlie, who had poor family background and everyone in the family has to work hard to survive. After a while, Charlie's father arrives to home. Who used to work in a toothpaste company and on that day, he had brought some lids of toothpaste for Charlie. When Charlie notices this, he gets quite delighted. Because Charlie was making the project of Willy Wonka's company. Seeing this, Charlie's grandfather tells him that, I used to work in Willy Wonka's company before. Willy Wonka built a greatest factory of the world before 15 years. It was 60% bigger than all the companies combined in the world. Being inspired from this, India's prince ordered Willy Wonka to make a palace with chocolates. He did the same and informs the prince, that this palace will not survive because temperature is so high. Prince chooses to ignore him, but the following day, the sun's rays cause the entire palace of chocolate to melt. Willy Wonka comes to know when he comes back to his factory, that a spy had intruded his factory. And this spy had been sent by owners of other factories. So they may steal secret recipe of Willy Wonka through which he makes the chocolates. Some owners remain successful through that spy. Next day, all chocolates companies begin to sell their chocolates, stealing Willy Wonka's recipe. Willy Wonka is dejected on this. So he terminates his whole staff without explaining them anything and seals the company. After few years, Willy Wonka starts his company again. At this time Willy Wonka does the same he did at the beginning of the movie. It means that he hides golden tickets in the five chocolates. After this, it is announced, five children who will get these golden tickets and one of them will be awarded a special prize. Now the consumers are increased to purchase this chocolate throughout the world. On the other side, Charlie is a birthday boy today, so his family decides to purchase Willy Wonka's chocolate for him. And also, by this, they will be able to test their luck. The first winner kid of that golden ticket was a chubby boy. The next winner kid was so wealthy and stubborn, that her father opened thousands of Willy's chocolates for one golden ticket. Charlie's parents also gifts him one chocolate, and then Charlie unwraps that chocolate with great expectations. But they fail to find that ticket. Charlie does not reveal his distress to anyone but eats that chocolate, by sharing with his family. The third golden ticket was founded by a little girl, who was champion of her school with a world record on her name. Fourth golden ticket belongs to that kid, who was very obstinate, and he had detected the ticket through his calculation. Due to the increased sale of chocolates, the toothpaste demand also increased, so all the employees of that company were replaced with machines for faster production. Charlie's father was the only earning hand in his family. And now their income source was destroyed, but Charlie's father does not tell this to any member of his family. Then Charlie's grandfather hands over some money to him, which he saved in previous years. And he asks Charlie to purchase Willy Wonka's chocolate. With this hope as destiny may favor them now, Charlie brings the chocolate again. They unwraps the packet with lot of hope. But again they fail to discover the golden ticket. Being saddened, Charlie comes out of the house. He discovers a note before a shop, and he purchases the same chocolate with that money. He does not believe in his eyes as he opens that packet. All people begin to glimpse the golden ticket who were standing in surroundings. And they offer a lot of money to purchase that golden ticket. But shop owner asks Charlie to leave the place for his protection. So he returns to his house happily, and shows the ticket to his family with excitement. Charlie's grandfather begins to dance happily and asks his son to read it. He says, it is stated that one elder comes with a child from his family. They will be sent back with a loaded truck of chocolate when they will receive their prize. And one of the five kids will be awarded a special gift. Charlie's grandfather says I will go with Charlie. Charlie reveals them that, a lady had offered lot of money in place of this ticket. Our life will completely changed after receiving that amount of money. Hearing this, Charlie's grandfather calls to him, and says, look my son. Everyone has money, but this golden ticket is rare. You are one of the five luckiest kids in the world. Next day, all five kids reach the front side of the chocolate company. And many people had also approached there to witness. A voice echoes from inside as the gate opens. Welcome all. Please enter. The gate is closed as they go inside. They all are greeted perfectly with a song and this song had been composed on Willy Wonka. After this, Willy Wonka appears before them and all kids begin to put a strange query on Willy Wonka. Then Willy Wonka tells, that every object in those rooms made out of chocolate. Including grass, waterfall, mountain and also pool. You can walk here and taste anything. Hearing this, all kids wonder to taste chocolates. Stubborn little girl glimpses a pygmy there and asks Willy Wonka, who tells her that, I went to a forest in search of a new flavor of the chocolate. There used to reside the whole tribe of these pygmies in those trees. This tribe has a large quantity of coconut, so Willy Wonka offers them. If you give me coconut then I will give you the opportunity to work in my company. Where you all may live comfortably. Meanwhile, that chubby child goes into the chocolate pool to drink it but he falls into it mistakenly. 
a big machine appears there with the pipe, through which liquid chocolate is being carried, this chubby child is also entrapped in this. Then all employees of Willy Wonka begin to sing a song for that chubby child. Witnessing this, all are left shocked there. How did they know as this chubby child will be entrapped in this pipe? That chubby child's mother begins to worry, then Willy Wonka asks his employees to take his mother to him. While all other people move ahead with Willy Wonka and witness a boat in a chocolate stream. They sail away, sitting in that boat. Willy Wonka offers Charlie to taste the chocolate, Charlie asks Willy Wonka, when had you tasted the first chocolate of your life? Then he goes into his past and tells that my father was the greatest dentist in the city, and he used to bring many chocolates for me on each Halloween. He also, had set the braces on my teeth, so my teeth won't damage because of chocolates. My father used to throw my all chocolates into the fire. Scene shifts to current time, new rooms appear before them during this journey, and at last, they reach Willy Wonka's favorite room. This is an inventing room where a unique bubble gum was being created. Willy tells them, this bubble gum has three flavors. I am feeling it incomplete till now. That champion little girl chews that bubble gum without hearing Willy's complete information and due to this, her whole body begin to turn into the blue color. Then Willy's employees begin to sing a song for one more time. But that little girl's mother gets worried. Willy says to his employees while making fun, that this little girl has turned into blueberry. So take her from here. While the remaining set out their next destination. Willy tells here that my father had thrown the chocolates into the fire for me but I used to eat burnt chocolates. After this, I ate a number of the chocolates. In the current time, they reached the nuts room, where many trained squirrels were working to pick the good quality nuts while throwing the spoiled ones. Seeing this, the stubborn little girl says to her father. I want to take a squirrel. Please take it for me. Willy says, you cannot take one, because we don't sell these squirrels here. The girl goes among those squirrels to catch one of them. Squirrels think of this girl as a nut and start to throw her in the trash bin, thinking it is spoiled. Then her father also goes to save her. Willie's employees begin to sing, and one of the squirrels throws her father into the same trash bin. Then rest of the people move forward for tour, then Willy Wonka brings them to a distinct lift. This lift can move up to down and also left to right. They witness many rooms through the lift. Charlie asks Willy Wonka, how did you start everything? He tells him, that my father had forbidden me to eat the chocolates. I was chocoholic. This was the cause that I left my home. Then they reach a TV room where chocolate could be sent into TV. And the viewers could also eat it. Now a wise child does not and activates that machine. He gets disappeared because of a bright light and reaches inside the TV. Then Willie's employees begin to sing here for one more time. Kid's father brings the child out of the TV but his size was still shorter. So father asks Willie, what should I do now? Willie says to his employees, carry him to the stretch room where he is lengthened after stretching. Now Willy Wonka notices here that Charlie is only one who has left. All other kids have left because of their foolish acts. Charlie is winner and he deserves that prize. Willy again leads them to a lift and presses a button which is for both direction up and down. Pressing this, lift goes up, coming out of the factory. We can see four kids returning back in worse conditions. They reach as Charlie's home through the lift. His parents get excited, where Willy Wonka says to Charlie, I want to gift my factory to you. Because I am getting old. My one hair has turned gray. So the rest of the hairs will also turn gray. But Charlie rejects his offer and says, My family is dearest to me. I will never leave my family for the sake of anything in the world. Being upset, Willy Wonka leaves that place. After this, Charlie's father gets the job in the toothpaste company. Now Charlie's financial condition becomes better. On the other side, Willy was looking so worried, and then he hits upon an idea. He again goes to Charlie and asks, covering his face. Have you ever seen Willy Wonka? Charlie says, yes. I have but his hair looks strange. Willie reveals himself and again offers Charlie but he rejects. He asks Willie, have you ever gone to meet your father? After this, they both reach before the house of Willy Wonka's father. Willie's father was considering him a patient and checks his teeth. Willie observes that his father has stuck all his news articles on the walls like certificates. Willie's father says, your teeth are perfect. I have never seen such teeth till now. Willie reveals himself, and then both father and son embrace each other. Willy Wonka understands the significance of the family. Then he gives a new offer to Charlie. Afterwards, those both families begin to dine together happily at the house of Charlie. Because Charlie's has a new house and chocolate factory given by Willy Wonka. Now Charlie takes care of factory with his family and their financial condition had turned into betterment. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.